right, we'll take a look at how to mirror both a sketch and features in this uh, demonstration. So when you have a part that is symmetrical on any axis, you can mirror on the face. Um, it should save you about half the, the time. So let's take a look at it. In mirroring a sketch, if I've created the sketch where half of it is what I want to be working with, I can then mirror this sketch. In my toolbar, I'll find mirror entities. You'll be asked to select your entities. You could select these individually, or you could drag a selection box around this, which I'm going to do the entire thing. I do want to create a copy in this instance. I do want to keep the original side. And not, what do I want to mirror about? That This is the line of axis that I want to mirror on. I'll get a preview, and I will be able to mirror these two contours to the specified dimension. Okay, so there was mirroring a sketch. If I create only half of it, I can mirror a feature. So I can do this for an extrusion, a cut, a revolve, um, whatever feature I've created. This is the face that I want to mirror on. So in my toolbar, in my features toolbar, I'll find mirror. The first thing I want to do is select the face that I want to mirror on. In this instance, it is this face. Since I only have one feature at this time, I can just choose the feature. Sometimes you might have made a cut or created holes and you only want to mirror those. As long as you have a plane or a face to mirror on, you can select multiples. Or in some cases, I might want to choose the entire body. Instead of selecting individual features, I can select the entire body. And in both, both instances, I have the entire part. And I've mirrored it. I can continue working. I can continue cutting. I can mirror again. Um, but here is an example on how to mirror both a sketch and features.